Welcome to Viral Hub, today I will be explaining the movie, They Call Me Jeeg. Released in the year 2015. The movie starts with the main character running from the police. The main character is a thief named Denzo Sakoti. And he has stolen a watch and now is running from the police. And reaches an abandoned crane house, but the police soon finds him and surrounds him. To save himself, he jumps into the river. And after the police has left he tries to climb up from the river. But accidentally falls into a barrel full of toxic radioactive material. He somehow manages to climb up covered in the material and starts to run towards his home without thinking about what has just happened. On the bus ride home, he cough up some black liquids and seems to be very weak. His situation gets worse after he reaches his home in the night and vomits a black liquid and start to shiver while trying to sleep. The next morning he feels fine and then does his morning routine. After which he goes to the next door neighbor and a gang member Sergio. Sergio works for a gangster named Fabio, who is popularly known as the Gypsy. They discuss the plan to retrieve the drugs from a pair of drug mules brothers. As they talk a guy hands Fabio a new phone that is a different color from what he wanted. The gangster beats the man to death because of the little mistake. His associated who are used to the psychotic behavior. Simply ask for the dead body to be removed. Outside Sergio meets Enzo and buys the stolen watch for 100 euros, Enzo was about to leave after the deal, but Sergio has different plans. He wants Enzo to join him on a trip to retrieve the drugs. Although the job is risky, Enzo agrees to do it for money, following the encounter they go to Sergio's house to collect things they need for the deal. Enzo meets Sergio's daughter Alesha for the first time and is confused by her behavior, she has drawn several childish drawings and pasted them. All around the house, she also tells Enzo about the steel jig and I'm, and seems to actually bell of that one day the character jig will come to save her, after they leave Sergio apologize for his daughter's behavior. Revealing that she is psychotically damaged and is obsessed with the steel jig and I'm. She has always been a special child, but after her mother's death, she has shut herself off from reality. The two pick up the drug mule brothers outside an airport and drive them to an in-construction building. The job is simple, take the packet of drugs outside of the brothers' bodies. However, one of them dies from overdose when a packet burst inside his stomach. The living brother is furious at Sergio for refusing to take them to a hospital earlier, Sergio on the other hand, simply mentions that they have to cut the dead body to get the substance out. The living brother snatches the gun from Sergio and shoots him several times. Before dying, Sergio bangs the man's head on the wall and knocks him out as well. With his last breath, the guy shoots Enzo, making him fall off the tenth floor, directly into the concrete ground below. By logic he shouldn't be alive after the fall, but he somehow opens his eyes and gets up, still groaning from pain. Confused and traumatized he starts to run. While at another location Fabio and his men are at a club with Nunziolo Cosimo. She is a terrorist and the leader of a cartel, one of the biggest drug dealer in Rome, Fabio was supposed to sell the drugs that Sergio would have bring to this lady, but since Sergio and the drug mules are dead, he struggles to prove it her with an answer, for the time being he lies and tell the deal went great, knowing well enough that if she finds the truth he will be dead. In the meantime Enzo reaches home and encounters Alantia, who asks him about her father, but he ignores her. Still she doesn't stop banging on his door, though with frustration Enzo punches the door and creates a hole in it, he cannot bell of his own strength, he then starts to move his furniture around and does it with ease. Surprised with this he does a lot of things and then goes outside to steal an ATM with his strength to break it. On returning home he uses the money to buy food. In addition to superhuman strength, he seems to have super healing powers too. The gunshot wound on his shoulder has completely healed. Downstairs, Fabio and his men come looking for Sergio and threatens Alesha to reveal his whereabouts, it turns out they didn't know the location where the deal was going to take place, hence they believe Sergio has fled with drugs and determined to find him. Fabio puts a butcher knife to her throat and asks her where her father is. Not knowing what is happening, Alicia stays quiet, which angers him even more. All of a sudden Enzo breaks in through the window with a mask and a hoodie to hide his identity. He easily picks the the largest man and slams him onto a table. The others try to fight him, but are easily defeated against his superhuman powers. Realizing that they cannot win, Fabio and his people run away. 
Before leaving however, Fabio manages to attack Enzo on his feet, chopping his toe off, Enzo and Alesha goes to his house. So she can be safe. He tapes his toe back to his foot hopping it would be attached by the morning. Alesha thinks that he is the superhero Jeek from her favorite and I'm, she believes he has come to save her at last, because she is mentally ill, Enzo does not correct her and goes along with the story. The next morning he checks his toe and finds that it is not attached, he accepts this fact and asks Alesha if she has any relatives with whom she can stay, Enzo does not want to take her responsibility, but Alesha claims the only family she has is her father, with nowhere to take her, he brings her to a residential care home where she previously stayed while her father was in prison. She is reluctant to let Enzo go, but he lies that he will be back soon. In the meantime the CCTV camera footage of Enzo of stealing the ATM goes viral on internet, Fabio see it and realize the guy is the same man who they fraud in Sergio's apartment, the gang is. Tensed because they are yet to find the drugs. Fabio's right hand man Antonio suggests they take a loan to pay Nunzia for the deal, however Fabio is not fond of the idea, instead he suggests they rob an armored truck that they have planned to rob after the deal. On returning home Enzo finds a bunch of papers among Sergio's belonging, the papers have an elaborate plan of robbing the same armored truck. The following day Fabio and his men are hiding by the side of the highway, armed with guns, ready to rob the truck. However Enzo stops the truck and steals everything before them, Fabio fires several rounds at him, but Enzo manages to get away before they stop him. Back at home policemen knock at Enzo's door, it turns out that they found Alicia wandering alone in the streets looking for him, Enzo takes her in and scolds her for bringing the police to his house, the girl innocently complains that he didn't come to meet her. They watch her fav and I'm together in night. While they are at it, Enzo tries to get close to her. Alicia freaks out and asks him to stop because she does not want to get hurt. When he calms her down, she reveals that she was sexually abused in the past, the following day, she insists he takes her to save her father, since he is a superhero. Enzo brings her to a closed amusement park and uses his strength to move a joyride so Alicia can ride it. Somewhere else Fabio and Antonio get into an argument because Antonio wants to take a loan to end the trouble with Anuncia, but Fabio refuses to do so. When Antonio does not back up, Fabio orders his dogs to attack him and kill the gangster. Meanwhile Alicia and Enzo goes to a shopping mall to shop for a princess dress that she always wanted. They end up kissing and making love in the trial room. Afterward Enzo tells her the truth about her father, Alicia gets upset and blames Enzo for letting her father die. The news about the armed robbery makes it to the TV and Enzo becomes to be known as the super criminal. Alicia tries to run away from Enzo and boards a tram. But he stops the tram from driving away with his powers and apologizes to Alesha. She agrees to go with him, but asks him to wear a mask next time. When Enzo looks around he realizes the people are filming him and has seen him stopping the vehicle. He quickly runs away with Alesha. Meanwhile with no way out Fabio meets with one of his dealer friends to ask for a loan to pay Nunzia. They are suddenly attacked by Nunzia and her men, who are furious at him for not paying the money on time, a shootout breaks out between the two parties, and only two people are left alive in the end Anuncia and Fabio. Fabio returns to his office and see that Nunzia has killed all of his men. Then the news about the super criminal being found is shown on the TV and Fabio recognizes Enzo and sets out to ask him about his secrets. Meanwhile Enzo and Alesha has decided to run away to another city, now that the police know what he looks like. They stay at a hotel for the night, where Enzo tells Alesha about his childhood and how all his friends were killed during a robbery, all of a sudden Fabio breaks in and hits him with a tranquilizer gun, when Enzo wakes up he is tied to a bed with duct tape. Fabio threatens him with Alesha's life to reveal the secrets of his power. Enzo takes him to the bank of the river and asks him to jump in, Fabio is skeptical and thinks Enzo is trying to drown him so he can get free, just then Nunzia and her people arrive there and start firing at him, in the shootout both Fabio and Alesha are shot dead. To take proper revenge Nunzia burns Fabio alive and pushes him into the river. With her last breath Alesha asks Enzo to help people with his powers. He hold her clothes mourning the death. The following morning Fabio comes out of the water, well and alive, it turns out the radioactive substance has worked on him. And he too has gained super strength. He goes to Nunzia's place. And takes his revenge by killing everyone there, he also shoot a video of himself of killing everyone, hoping to grow as famous as Enzo. 
Then he finds several explosives hidden in the house. It is clear that Nunzia was planning to bomb the city. Meanwhile Enzo is wandering alone, disheartened by Alesha's death. A woman and her daughter gets into a car accident near him. He uses his power to save a little girl from a burning car. The mother's hugs him with gratitude, which reminds him of Alesha's last words. Moments later he see a video on TV where Fabio threatens to bomb a stadium. After gaining the powers he wants to terrorize everyone just because he can. Enzo quickly sets out to look for him. He enters the stadium full of a crowd enjoying the game. On searching he finds Fabio in the parking lot with the remote of explosive in his hands. They struggles for a while, after which Fabio runs inside the stadium and gets lost in between the crowd, moments later. The chase continue outside again. Enzo finally finds he explosive in an ambulance. Unable to defuse it, he takes it with him to a bridge to throw the explosive in the river. But before he could, Fabio finds him and keeps him from throwing the explosive into the river. In the last showdown the two fight to get a hold of the bomb with only a minute left for the bomb to explode. In the last second Enzo brags Fabio with the bomb and jumps into the river. The explosive that occurs next kills Fabio as his decapitated head lands on the bridge, and Enzo is also assumed to be dead, and is declared to be dead by the media and the people. In the last scene he is standing on a building watching over the whole city of Rome, he then puts on a jeep mask that Alasia made for him, with that the film ends, I hope you liked the video, please subscribe for more upcoming video on very exciting movies.